Hello everyone, it is LB3 and I am back again with another Draft Profile video. And in this video we're going to take a look at a very intriguing prospect in Louisiana Tech defensive tackle Milton Williams. Uh, in what is inarguably one of the weakest defensive tackle classes in years, Williams stands out as one of the few prospects at that position that combines both good production and good athleticism. Two things that are essentially requirements for defensive tackles that have success as pass rushers in the NFL. Of note, of course, is the fact that some have listed Williams as a defensive end because of his narrow frame, weighing in at only 284 pounds with a six foot three frame. But I will be looking at him as a defensive tackle, as I think that's a better fit for him in the pros. With all that said, that's a perfect reason to jump into his athleticism, which, if you look at his overall uh, athletic score, considering that height and weight is factored into it, that's absolutely insane. He is an absolutely freakish athlete, with the caveat, of course, that he's very thin for a defensive end. Uh, he was elite at every single drill, uh, and he was also elite at every drill if you play, put him at defensive end instead and ran this and saw what he ranked there. Now, of course, it is fair to question how much good weight he could actually put on his frame and still maintain the athleticism that is his biggest strength as a prospect. And then to add on to that, it's fair to question how much weight he needs to be able to consistently play the game at a consistent level in the NFL against NFL offensive linemen. And after talking athleticism, we're going to go ahead and start with his first strength, which we're going to be talking about, which is his hand usage. As a pass rusher, he has flashed a good knowledge of how to use his hands to disengage with blockers in the pass game. While I would say he still has room to grow here, I think he has a solid baseline that a lot of college players don't even hint at, and that suggests he'll be able to improve on this skill in the pros. Now, if we take a look at this first play, we can clearly see him notice the lunging blocker. With him off balance, he's able to swipe his hands away to get a clean run at the quarterback and nearly cause the interception. And then on the second play, he engages, but is then able to overpower and rip the offensive lineman and get pressure on the quarterback, helping lead to the incomplete pass. Moving on, we're going to talk about the only major weakness that I noticed and wanted to comment on. And it's a big one. And it's actually kind of combines multiple things, but that's not important. Uh, it's his ability to anchor. Uh, now, anchoring is extremely important for a defensive tackle. What it basically means is when they are engaged with a blocker, how much can they hold their position without getting moved off the spot? Um, honestly, it's not really that surprising he struggles with this considering his size once again. However, I will note that sometimes it almost seems to be an effort thing. If he does not instantly get in on a play, he seems kind of lost. Uh, this first play, he kind of instantly loses ground, although it's a double team. He does not seem to have a good plan for holding ground or even splitting it. Uh, in the second play, he's just easily shoved aside by the offensive lineman, and it's doubly worse in this case as the running back takes the hole that he actually vacated uh, to run it in. Uh, I'm not sure if he got the touchdown, but still, that could have led to a touchdown, and I would put that play almost completely on him. The next strength is something that I hesitate to bring up because I don't like double counting athleticism, but it's his explosiveness on the field. I also want to call it more flashes of explosiveness, honestly, and that's why I actually put this in the strengths by saying I don't like doing that. It's because when you look at his tape, you don't see this explosiveness every play, and that makes the plays where he is explosive stand out even more and helps suggest that he has not even come close to reaching his ceiling as a pass rusher yet, especially when you go back and then compare that to his athleticism. He clearly has room to grow out of exploding out of his stance and using his athleticism as a pass rusher. Uh, on this play, it's not necessarily explosion off the snap, but explosion after he disengages off the blocker to quickly pressure the quarterback. And on this second play, he does in fact explode off the snap, and how quickly he closes on the offensive tackle is what gives him the ability to out-leverage the tackle and get pressure on the quarterback because the tackle is not in the right position because he didn't think he would get there to him that fast. Moving on to the last strength is just something that I noticed and I like seeing, especially when looking at a guy who faced off against some weaker competition. Uh, the opposing teams very frequently double teamed him, more so than other guys from what I watched. I described a few examples, but overall Williams was frequently double teamed, presumably because opponents were afraid of his ability to disrupt plays at his best. As mentioned earlier, he needs to work on his ability to take on these double teams and potentially even work through them, but overall I find it a better sign that teams knew he was the guy that they needed to double team than the fact that he wasn't the best at taking them on. With all that said, we are on to the comp and final thoughts, and for Milton Williams, like Dummy Brown, I could not find a comp that I liked, so instead we're just going to move right into final thoughts. Williams is in a very weak defensive tackle class, so he's super interesting. As mentioned before, he has the production and he has the athleticism, 
But overall, I didn't love his tape. Uh, he has flashes that I think are absolutely worth the top 100 pick. But in a weak defensive tackle class, how high could he end up going? I've seen some top 50 buzz. And honestly, I would not feel comfortable investing such a premium pick in him. But when we get into round three, I think I get a little bit more uh, comfortable with his highs and lows there. So that's probably where I'd end up taking it this round three. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this will be my last draft profile video for the 2021 NFL Draft. Um, I want to do more, but because of a variety of circumstances, I ended up only doing six. I, eventually, I actually originally planned on doing ten, but, you know, things are how they are. Um, after this draft, I actually have a really cool video that I'm working on right now that is a little bit different than anything I've ever done before, but I think is going to end up being really cool if I can do it justice. Uh, so definitely look out for that in the next few weeks. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something new.